Okay, the next book is Milo the Really Big Bunny. That one is by Stephen Krensky, illustrated by Melissa Suber, told by Aunt Bonnie and Angeli. Alrighty, Milo was a bunny. He wasn't quick like a bunny or quiet like a bunny, and his tail wasn't fluffy because he sat on it so often. bunnies nibbled on carrots and lettuce. They could hop on either foot and dig tunnels from one place to another. More than anything, Milo wished he could do something to fit in better. And then one day, Milo heard about a contest. The Easter Bunny was looking for a helper. No experience was required. The Easter Bunny is the most famous bunny in the whole world, thought Milo. If I become his helper, and the other bunnies will be impressed. No one was very encouraging. Don't be ridiculous, Milo. You have to be a nimble. You have to be nimble and quick. You need to. You need a delicate touch. You have to fit in small places. But Milo wasn't about to give up. When the contest began, Milo was at the head of the line. He colored some eggs first. This didn't work out the way he planned. Then he tried making baskets over and under, over and under, he told himself. That didn't work out so well either. When it was time to pick a winner, Milo didn't stand a chance. Milo felt pretty bad after that. As the days passed, he dragged himself around and didn't go out much. On Easter morning, Milo just stayed in bed. He didn't hear the wind pick up or the rain start to fall. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. Wake up, Milo! Someone was shouting. It was the Easter Bunny. I need help, he, he explained. Milo rushed to gather his eggs and baskets. No, no, not like that, said the Easter Bunny. I need you. Milo and the Easter Bunny struggled long and hard all day. The rain was wetter than wet, and the wind was howling something awful. But finally, they were finished. Thanks, said the Easter Bunny. You were a big help, Milo. A very big help. After that, Milo felt a lot better about himself. True, he ate as much as before. His hopping was still unpredictable and his tail wasn't even a little fluffy. But none of that mattered anymore. Because Milo has found his place at last.